Hi friends, uh, today we will continue with the cell cycle. Uh, we have uh, given two lectures on the cell cycle. Uh, we have discussed about uh, the phases of the cell cycle in the previous lecture. Uh, the two major phases of the cell cycle are the interphase and the M phase. So we were discussing uh, we were discussing about the interphase, uh, which is the actually the preparatory phase uh, of the cell cycle, where the cell uh, prepares itself for being generated to two daughter cells. So all those preparations which a cell makes uh, during the interphase uh, are divided into three sub phases: that is G1 phase, S phase, and G2 phase. And G1 phase, we in the previous lecture discussed that these are actually uh, this is the growth phase or the gap phase, uh, which is the time interval from the previous mitosis to the uh, S phase, synthesis phase. So during G1 phase, uh, the the cell uh, grows in size, accumulates the nutrition, and makes all the uh, things available, uh, all the raw materials available for the S phase which all these materials are used in S phase that is in the S phase replication of DNA takes place so what actually the DNA replication needs what raw material is the DNA replication needs those all things these all things are made available in the G1 uh, previous phase G1 phase likewise now we have then discussed about the S phase that is synthesis phase where then the DNA replication takes place the DNA is replicated and the amount of DNA is doubled. So uh, we have discussed this S phase also. Now today we will discuss about the last subphase of the interphase that is the G2 phase. This is also called uh, G2 phase. This is also called gap 2 phase. Gap 2 phase or growth phase 2 growth phase 2 so actually why it's called a gap is likewise we it's also called a gap one it takes the gap for now uh, in order to grow it takes the time it needs it consumes the time in order to grow in order to accumulate again the nutrition uh, formation of the proteins and all that that's why it's also called a growth phase or gap 2 phase now this is the second gap that the cell takes here in order to grow again, in order to uh, form certain important things. Uh, as we have already discussed that, uh, 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 all the raw materials which are uh, made in the G1 phase are utilized in the S phase. Likewise, all the raw materials which are made here are then eventually used in M phase. This is very important. So, जो भी चीजें यहाँ पे G2 फेज में बनेंगी, वो सारी चीजें फिर इस्तेमाल हो जाएंगी M फेज में। क्योंकि मैंने कल भी बता दिया था, क्लियर करना चाहूँगा फिर से कि जो फेज प्रीसीड करता है उस फेज को, जो चल रहा होता है, जो आने वाला होता है, उस प्रीसीडिंग फेज में आने वाले फेज के लिए सारी तैयार कि जो आने वाला फेज है M फेज, इसका प्रीसीडिंग फेज है G2 फेज, तो इसमें सारी तैयारियां हो जाएंगी किस फेज के लिए? M फेज के लिए। तो it is actually now the time which is utilizing much time in order to make all those things available which are needed in the M फेज। M फेज is that phase where the cell divides into two daughter cells. Where there is, uh, you know, there is karyokinesis, division of the nuclei. So all these things are uh, formed here first, and then utilized in M phase. So uh, what are the changes? What are what are the things which are made here in the G two phase? So let's uh, discuss about those. In G two phase, there is, you know, division of the centrals. Centrals division. Division of centrals uh, also takes place in G2 phase because uh, we know that centrals we will study uh, uh, the function of the centrals in this 
M phase when we study about the mitosis, the subphase of the mitosis that's prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. Uh, so the centrioles, uh, <coughs> which form in animal cells, the centrosome, the part of the cytoplasm uh, beside the nucleus, uh, very close to the nucleus. Uh, the centrioles, every cell has a pair of centrioles. They have to be divided uh, in order to equally distribute them to the uh, respective cells where they divide uh, during the M phase. So there is, in G2 phase, there is division of centrioles. Uh, centrioles ka division hota hai in G2 phase mein. Iska matab, <coughs> isme uh, organization of microtubules bhi ho jata hai. Organization of microtubules. Organization of microtubules. So, uh, microtubules are organized in a definite pattern because they have to form the spindle. Spindle formation also takes place here. Spindle formation. In order to make the spindle formation. The spindle banana buta hai. Uh, the spindle formation which has to be uh, done by the spindle formation so spindle formation takes place <coughs> uh, during the g2 phase that means that why the spindle formation takes place why the microtubules get organized and they start to polymerize uh, their tubular units because you know that microtubules 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 are made up of proteins. Microtubules are made up of proteins, which are called tubulin proteins. Tubulin proteins. Alpha and beta tubulins. Uh, sorry, uh, these are made up of <coughs> proteins called tubulin proteins. So these microtubules which are made up of proteins, uh, these proteins start to polymerize in order to form long thread-like substances which are actually these microtubules are hollow. These are hollow structures. We will discuss, we have, we will discuss them later on. These are hollow structures. Microtubules are hollow, internally they are hollow. <coughs> so these Microtubules, their polymerization starts, uh, for, uh, start formation of polymerization, that's addition of tubulin units, addition of tubulin uh, proteins, monomers, and they form long, long tubes, threads, which actually form the spindle. The spindle formation takes place in order to get attached to the chiratocote, attached to the chromosomes, <coughs> and the centromere, and let, in order to separate these uh, chromosomes towards the respective new daughter cells. So equal distribution of the chromosomes has to be done. Uh, it is only possible when there is um, organization of the microtubules, formation of the spindle. So organization of microtubules is important in order to lead the separation of the uh, chromosomes so that equal amount of chromosomes, equal number of chromosomes will go to the respective two daughter cells. Because in S phase, uh, replication of DNA has done, that is the amount of DNA has doubled. In order to uh, distribute equally the amount of DNA and the equal number of chromosomes to the respective cells in S phase, uh, 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 spindle formation and microtubule organization has to be done, has to be done in the G2 phase. So central, uh, division of central, organization of microtubules then, and then, and then sp uh, spindle formation also takes place in G2 phase. Then another thing which takes place in that is in the, in the division of the organelles. Division of organelles. So here the division of organelles taking takes place. Uh, organelles which are, <coughs> you know, uh, they are, they are this, there is mitochondria, <coughs> there are ribosomes, they are endoplasmic reticulum. Many organelles are there, cell organelles. They have to be equally distributed to the respective daughter cell, the dividing daughter cell. So those organelles also start to divide. So we can say protein senses, RNA senses, division of organelles, central division, organization of microtubules. This all these all things 
uh, which are actually needed in M phase uh, are formed in uh, this G2 phase. Again, one important factor which is also formed here, uh, G2 M phase, that is MPF. MPF, that's maturation promoting factor. Maturation promoting factor is actually a uh, mitotic CDK complex. We will discuss uh, in the next lecture about the CDKs, what are these. So this is also formed here. This maturation promoting factor actually helps in the condensation of chromosomes. Condensation of chromosomes. And also it helps in, you know, it uh, helps in the uh, dissolution of the nuclear membrane. Dissolution of the nuclear membrane. The nuclear membrane be dissolved, ho jati hai, break, ho jati hai, chromosomes condense, ho jate hai, uh, highly condensed, and the chromosomes later on, uh, this is why the metaphase plate be jate hai, center be jate hai because of this maturation promoting factor. Those that those change take place in the M phase, but due to this MPF, it helps in the condensation of chromosomes. It helps in the dissolution of the nuclear membrane, which takes place again in the M phase. Then, but the the thing this this uh, factor is also produced in here in G two phase, and then utilize it M phase. It helps in uh, the you know uh, the alignment of the chromosomes. Alignment of the chromosomes. Uh, metaphase plate at metaphase plate metaphase plate this is formed in the metaphase so alignment of chromosomes also uh, done because of this MPF so chromosomes won't align in the center of the cell during the metaphase which will which is actually one of the surface of the M phase uh, so MPF has many important functions uh, that's condensation of chromosomes and dissolving the nuclear membrane so that the um, chromosomes are in a position to move and uh, try to align in the center of the cell <coughs> and then this nuclear membrane when it is dissolved and it is broken down then it's possible for the chromosomes to come and are in the center of the cell so this is MPF maturation promoting factor or it's mitotic CDK complex it's also called a mitotic CDK complex we will read about the complex later on. So these things are actually formed here between the G2 and M phase, then, but utilize M phase so that the cell easily can divide its nuclear uh, material, that is, easily can distribute the chromosome number and the amount of DNA, which is actually called, also called the nuclear division or karyokinesis. So these changes are, these things are already prepared here, made here into G2 phase and then utilized in M phase. So these are the things which are taking place in G2 phase and uh, eventually utilized in M phase so that the dead cell can divide into two daughter cells. So this was about the end of phase from G1 to S and S to G2 phase. So this is interphase uh, uh, where G1 phase, then S phase and G2 phase have taken place. And after now, the, after that, the cell will enter into M phase. So we will study about M phase and other things in the next video. Thanks for watching.